All right, fellas. Um, I've had a blast doing these franchise videos. They're not getting a lot of traction. Oddly enough, it's the most fun I've had this year making uh, videos for YouTube. So I'm going to do one final quote unquote tip video for the year for you guys. Um, and it's just going to be kind of throwing the kitchen sink at everybody. It's just going to be, you know, I'm, I'm titling the video all the secrets and it's going to basically just be a lot of the go to secrets that more advanced uh, Madden players use. So we're going to start off here in the bunch tight end um, single back. Um, this is going to be the rollout glitch and how to do the rollout glitch. OK, so we're just going to pick cross drag and we're just going to go. Um, uh, let's go. Let's just do, do cover three cloud. OK, so again, you can do this just normal like this. OK. And you can do just fine, but there's a way to really make this rollout glitch work. So we're going to press the left trigger and we're going to take our right stick and we're going to slide to the left. We're then going to press right trigger down on the right stick and we're going to double team the defensive tackle of the direction that we want to roll. OK, so we're, we're slide protecting the opposite way that we want to roll and we're double teaming the defensive tackle on the side that we want to roll. That's going to probably free up the defensive end to come at us. But if we immediately roll out at about a five o'clock angle, we'll be able to completely escape any of these um, defensive rushers on the right side. As a side note, a second tip here is with roaming Deadeye, you, if you keep holding the turbo button, you're setting yourself up for an inaccurate throw. You pretty much have to have your feet set to throw accurately with roaming Deadeye. But if you take your finger off turbo right before you throw, it'll give you an accurate throw. Just like that. So for the next tip, we're gonna talk about flood, okay? The flood concept, everybody knows about this. You basically have a pull route, which is a streak, a corner route, and then some kind of flat on the same side. And you're basically flooding that side and that is going to, for the most part, unless they're mabling, the defense is mabling, it's going to overload the defense and one of those routes is going to get open, okay? But in the, the Gun Bunch Strong offset, their flood play has this sort of unique streak fade. And that streak fade will pull two different types of zones, okay? Well, actually it'll pull all different types of zones deep, okay? So what that's going to do is unless they specifically make adjustments, it's going to get that corner route open better. So just watch. A simple flood play and you get what? A 60 yard touchdown? For our third tip, and this may not be such a secret anymore, we're going to talk about the double corner concept, okay? So what we're going to do here on this play is we're going to streak our tight end and we're going to put our slot receiver on a corner route. Okay, so we have a deeper corner route and we have a short corner route. Unless they specifically either defend this with a user or they specifically set their defense up to stop this, it's a very difficult concept to stop. One of those corner routes is going to get open. Okay, so let's watch. Okay, for the next concept, we're gonna talk about how to block the meta, okay? Basically, you're looking at, an, at a meta A-gap blitz, okay? Now, we're not setting the defense up exactly here, but you'll, you're gonna get the concepts here. So, originally, you would think to slide left, okay? And that can work, and there have been periods of the year where that does work. You can see it picked up the blitz there pretty well. Okay, but the way that we have found works best is to slide right. Okay, sliding right in most instances will really help pick up this A gap blitz. And you can see it worked very well there. Okay, 
But if you really want to pick up this blitz, there's a very easy adjustment, okay? You're gonna press left trigger, you're gonna press down on the right stick, and you're gonna double team the, the right of screen defensive end, okay? Now this A-gap blitz basically only works on the left side, okay? So we're gonna be double teaming that right defensive end, and that helps to pick up this blitz probably the most consistent. Okay. So, the best way to, to block this A-gap blitz, we're gonna combine these two techniques. We're gonna press left trigger, and we're gonna slide right by pressing right on the right stick. We're gonna press left trigger down on the right stick. We're gonna double team that defensive end on the right side of the screen, okay? And I'm just gonna put a flat out here. Okay, so you can see, even though the safety was blitzing, you can see that it picked up that A-gap blitz very well, okay? Um, in terms of picking up blitzes heavy on the left side, we're gonna go ahead and choose a new play here. And we're gonna come up with, th this is my favorite blitz out of dollar, by the way. The overload th uh, three C. okay? So you have your A-gap, and you have a blitzer coming from the outside, okay? So the best way to pick this up, okay, we're gonna slide right, and then we're gonna go left trigger, we're gonna press X, and we're gonna ID the mic, the slot corner, okay? And that's all we're gonna do right now. Okay, let's see if this picks the blitz up. And you can see it picked it up perfectly. Right? So that's the that that's the easiest way. Right? Now there, there are some other tricks though when it comes to picking up blitzes. So let's say you're getting heat. If you wanna, if you wanna, if you're worried they, they may be um, doing this A gap blitz, an easy way to, to deal with this is to is to press left trigger, ID the mic as the defensive tackle. Okay, that will help have the defensive line focus on the middle, okay? So let's watch this play out. Did a pretty dang good job, right? So let's say, um, let's go ahead and switch the defense here. And let's switch to dime. And let's, um, Let's do this dime blitz three, okay? So we're, we're wanting to pick up heat on this left side. This is another very common blitz, okay? So one of the ways that you can do this is you can press left trigger, press X to ID the mic, and you can ID the outside cornerback. That's going to help this, this um, offensive line focus on the left side, okay? You can also, Keep your running back into block if you want. And again, we're IDing the mic outside. And that will help pick up this outside blitz, okay? You can see it picked it up really well. Another tip is the speed boost. I don't know if, how many people are aware of this or not. It's been a thing, we've, we've known about this from the beginning of Madden but a lot of people are surprised to hear about this. You press R1, and just keep pressing it. That will give you a speed boost. Now it will speed up the defense a little bit, but that will, and we're gonna show, show you on the instant replay. That will speed your player up considerably. Let's watch this. See him? See him gain that speed boost there? And that is pretty much the offensive tips. We're gonna switch to the defensive side of the ball now. Okay, our first tip for defense is how to stop the rollout glitch. There are a lot of ways that you can try to stop the rollout glitch, okay? Um, in my opinion, 
the best way to do this is to shade down. That gives you a hard flat, okay? The next thing is take your defensive end and put him into a hard flat, okay? So you now have two hard flats on that side. And all you have to do is when the quarterback starts to roll out, okay, it's that initial turn that the quarterback makes that makes it almost impossible for him to get sacked. But when you put your defensive end, we can even pinch, okay? That, that'll give us actually a little bit more time and I should be a little bit better in this situation. But once that quarterback makes his turn to roll out, you have two hard flats out there. And all you have to do is click in the right stick to send one of those guys and that will get the quarterback. Let's see how this plays out. You see that? Even though the computer completed that pass, we're gonna do this again. Okay, so we have two hard flats out there. And if we wanted to, we could, if we wanted to clear up the zones over there, triangle, triangle, square, um, oh heck, we put them in a deep half, and triangle, triangle, L1, we could put him in, um, oh, we we'll just put him in a crow flat. Okay, so we basically got a Mabel coverage over here. And when the quarterback, and that's probably important because when they roll out, they're gonna be throwing their receivers to that side of the field. So we're going to roam over here, protect this area. And as soon as that quarterback turns a the corner, then we send one of our guys. You can see already, We'll go with the instant replay on this one. Here the quarterback turns, right? We've got two guys out here. We send one and you can see the quarterback immediately knows it's time to throw. He is not getting around that. Okay, our user is out there and we have a hard flat covered and our defensive end on the hard flat is there. Okay. You want to make sure you have a decently quick defensive end if you do this. But in my opinion, this is the best way to stop this rollout glitch. And you can see this is very difficult. You, you can set up different, different coverage shells. We didn't really set up much of a shell just on the left side. But you can see that the way this play plays out. Okay. The next tip is how to stop RPOs better. Okay. One of the ways to stop them is obviously always go conservative, right? But pass committing really, really helps with stopping RPOs, okay? Um, now you can see we only have one hard flat out there, right? So one of the easiest ways to actually stop this is to make sure that you have a player in between your defensive line and your hard flats, okay? So we can even hard flat here, just, just for the purposes of this video, okay? So if you have a defensive player here, just as effectively, we can move this linebacker over here, okay? Then this guy's gonna be the read guy, okay? And these guys are gonna play the RPO a lot better. This is why I like the dollar defense, because by default, you have guys already in between your far defensive back and your defensive line. This will help you cover that um, RPO much better. Okay, so another, another way to do this is I basically have manned up the tight end and I've used my, my blitzing slot defensive back and manned him up to circle. Now we don't know if this is gonna be an RPO or not in a game, but we know it, you know, watching it. But this is a very simple defensive setup. This is something I would normally do. I would only have to worry about the halfback and these, this receiver over here, okay? But by the time he gets to me, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that Heat is gonna be there. 
So let's see how this plays by just having this one guy in the slot over here between the, the, my outside defensive back and my defensive line and pass committee. And let's see how this works. See how that just pretty well shuts the RPO down, okay? Now again, I wanna stress, this is not a tried and true thing. RPOs are a pain in the tail, you guys. They they can make you rage. I've been fortunate enough because I run this, this dollar defense um, a lot. Um, generally, just based on my setups, I almost always have a key between my defensive line and my outside defensive back. Especially when I pinch, right? I always have that. So even with the blitz, right? I can generally, like, like he's probably gonna throw this RPO, but I, this will probably shut it down just by having that guy in the middle there, over here, and just by pass committing. And you can see it just it just stuffs it right. It gets even better when you basically hard flat, right? And if you set your hard flats to zero or five, and you do stuff like man up, you know, a particular guy. Sometimes I'll man up the the middle guy, right? You know, and I'll man up that tight end. I'll do something like this as a setup, right? But generally speaking, having that key guy over here is what's most important and pass committing really helps. And you can see, even when the blockers are there, we're able to get there very quickly. Okay, the next tip we're gonna talk about is blitzing and why it's important to blitz from the left versus the right side. So we're gonna flip the play and we're just going to set our play up the way we would if we were blitzing from the left, okay? And you're gonna see that it's not gonna come through. It gets picked up way too easily, okay? So let's try this again on, the, on, on this side. So we're gonna press, pinch, shade down, do whatever we want with this free safety. Why that? Why these guys are roaming tonight is beyond me. But anyway, this is our setup. Let's see if this A gap comes through. You can see it just screams through from that left side. Okay, and we're gonna give one more tip here. Okay, that blitz can be picked up. But this blitz, the overload three scene, we talked about this when we were talking about making our blocking adjustments. This blitz, is crazy okay so for this one we're just going to get on this this right of screen inside linebacker we're going to press pinch our line shade down and back off this slot cornerback and we should see this blitz come through pretty hardcore it's vicious suspicious right the, the cornerback and the defensive back came through, right? So let's watch this. So again, it's a real simple tip, but if you really want to increase your heat while still having a good cover three shell, overload three seam. You get the benefits of the outside blitzer and, and the, the play arts deceiving because that outside blitzer is actually going to blitz from the outside. And you have your A gap. And as long as you set it up right, you don't have to back off that slot cornerback, but in some formations, certain situations, it does help, okay? All you need to do is press, pinch your line, shade however you want, back up that slot cornerback if you want to. Some You don't have to, okay? But it does help it help the blitz, but it has to come through on the left side. Okay. We're gonna talk about how to stop corner routes, okay? One of the best, easiest ways to stop corner routes is to change your zone drops, okay? Just your curl flats, don't change anything else because 
when you do, it affects everything. You want to be able to shade up or down, okay? So set these curl flats to 25 or 20. 20 seems to be the sweet spot for me, okay? And when you come out in this, in this play, free safety blitz, right? Just running it stock, you know, we can pass commit, we can pinch our line, you know, whatever it is that we want to do, right? But just running it stock, you know, we've got, we can basically take our seam flat, triangle, 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 put him into a hard flat, and we can go triangle, triangle, L1, and put him into a curl flat. But you notice our curl flats are out a little deeper, right? Or those seam flats, right? They're out a little deeper. Triangle, triangle, X. We'll just put him in a curl flat for the sake of this, this video, okay? But that will help to stop those corner routes, okay? Plus, you've got a crazy blitz. Did you see how that got covered? From a play like this play, setting those, those, we can shade down for hard flats. We don't have to worry about it. We shade back up. We're going to 20 yards here. Okay, and we can even back up um, that cornerback. That will cover a corner route now. Okay, so, you know, we have our play set up. You know, we got a Mabel on one side and then we have a backed up. Whoops. There, now we got our curl flat. Okay, so that will cover those corner routes, right? This will even cover a double corner route. And you can just see on the play, and when we come back to the instant replay, you can see that safety is already dropping back. That's a helpful tip, right? So. A lot of people, this is a really popular play, this free safety zone blitz, but to be able to shut down those corner routes and those double corner routes um, is very tough to do without usering. In this case, we have, a, we have a solution for that, okay? It's not tried and true all the time, but to set your curl flats to 20 really helps with stopping corner routes. All right, and for the next and final tip, probably the most annoying cheat in the entire game okay so we're gonna come out in bunch and we're just gonna come out in you know a very common place let's just say verticals okay and on defense let's say they got db fire so as soon as you come out right everybody starts to make adjustments what you can do is you can wait for them to make their adjustments and then audible the gun bunch strong say, okay? When you do this, you can make hot routes as it happens, right? If you audible to say um, a different a, a different formation, right? Like this, you can set all your audibles up like this very quickly. So we're gonna come out and say trips tight end. We're gonna do X under, and they're in DB fire. On, we can immediately audible to gun butt strong offset, and their ability to make their adjustments has just been frozen. It is one of the most annoying things in the game this year, okay? And so it won't come on unless they reset their play. It'll take a couple seconds for them to be able to get that, and we can make quick adjustments, okay? So. If we do it, if we wait and wait for them to make their adjustments, maybe we do some hot routing, maybe we do this, blah, 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 and then we hit them with, say, verticals, right? Or, or you know, we go with Durham. We can essentially do all of our audibling, right? As the, the formation is changing, they're ability to make individual adjustments is almost completely frozen much of the time and it gives us a huge advantage again we just audible i've already got my offensive line adjustments set up and they can't make adjustments like right now is right where they're about to be able to start making adjustments unless they reset their defense 
right? It's a horrible cheat. I hate it. I, I wish it wasn't out there, but since it's out there, I'm sharing it with you guys. Um, I don't ever do this. I just don't like it. I don't, I don't want to play that way, but it's very frustrating. Fortunately for me on defense, I make my adjustments so quickly, even if they do this, it's not a problem for me. Um, but it can be a problem if I get confused and I'm, and I'm missing an adjustment or whatever. Now I've got to reset the play and I got to go fast and I got to figure out what formation they're in. It's a real pain to deal with. And when they don't have coverage, you know, when you don't have your coverage set up, it makes for a really long day. Look at that, all my setups, by the time they even get a chance, I've already hiked the ball before they get a chance to make their adjustments. It's the worst cheat in the game. So you guys, those are some of the most infamous, most famous and most infamous tips in Madden 24 this year. Use them wisely, with great power comes great responsibility. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, there are some really good fundamental tips in here, and there's some uh, gimmickry in here. Um, I thought that I would share this video with you guys. Um, may maybe, maybe it'll draw a little bit more traffic. Um, I just don't have enough viewers to be able to do franchise videos and get enough views to kind of expand the channel. So I know I need to make videos. These tip videos seem to be very popular. So I'm making one final tip video for the year. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you haven't, check out those franchise videos, especially the highlights videos. They're short, generally speaking, and they're really fun. I'm having a blast making them. I would love to be a franchise channel that also does tips, okay? I'm not gonna screw you guys next year. I'm gonna come out next year from jump and give you guys tips from the beginning of the year, um, just like I did when I started at Christmas this year. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. See you in the next video.